However, our next story is also a mystery, but perhaps a more human one. This is Rosa Kuleshova, a Russian girl in her mid-twenties who lives in a town in the Urals. And this is Lena Blitznova, another Russian girl. They have a common claim to fame, and it's one which stretches human credulity pretty far. They both believe that they can see with their fingertips. Now, this is not a claim to distinguish by touch in the manner of a braille reader. Rosa, heavily blindfolded, read printed material through a sheet of glass and detected with her fingertips patterns of coloured light beamed onto a smooth glass screen. Her investigators concluded that her skin was reacting to light. But now was it? Or was it a hoax or a fraud of a kind of which not even Rosa herself was probably aware? Since these cases, many others have been reported both from Europe and from America. Over a period of about two months, Dr. Donald Liddell, who is himself totally blind, has been carrying out experiments on himself. Dr. Liddell is a research assistant in the Department of Psychology at Birkbeck College in London. He has come to our studio. Dr. Liddell, let us see one of your experiments. Well, my experiment is basically very simple. A number of uh, objections, if you like, or alternative explanations have been put forward of this, uh, this phenomenon. Uh, telepathy, touch, temperature, supernatural powers, and hoaxing. Now, by not being able to see the cards, by being alone when I do these experiments, and by being my own subject, I think I've guarded adequately against all these other explanations. Mm -hmm. What I have here, I have a white card, which I simply have under this hand, and under this hand a pack of uh, black cards and white cards in equal numbers. So the chances uh, are about, should be equal, of this one being a black or a white. And I think black. And, and black it is. Now, you print out your result on this Braille typewriter, and you knew that was black because you've got a Braille code on it, which you finally touch. Yes, uh, after I have made my decision, my guess, and recorded it. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, uh, again, I think white there you go. and white we are. So we're doing quite well so far. But of course, one wants to repeat this time and time again for uh, several hundreds of, of trials. And this you did? And, and this you have to do, yes. You don't actually yes. touch the card at all? Not quite. If, if I find that I am touching it, then and I discard that particular one and start again. Black? Very good. Black, yes. Now this so is, we're, this we're is one. extraordinary. Well, we're one up on chance. Mm -hmm. One up on chance. Mm -hmm. And of course, the thing could even up as we go along, you see. And in fact, I have been ending up with results which are more or less a chance level. White? Yes, white. 100%? On so four. far, so good. But as I say, if, if you take this over hundreds of trials, for me at any rate, the results have been uh, only in one case uh, above the chance level. So what do you deduce from that, Dr. Dibble? I, I wouldn't like to... Uh, deduce anything from it at the moment. Uh, the only thing is that, that there are these points of interest, the one series above chance level, uh, the fact that one does improve very noticeably uh, as one uh, keeps on at this, and the fact that uh, having a white card here uh, whilst trying to uh, guess the colour here does seem to help, which um, it shouldn't. You don't think that it is possible to de develop any extra sense with one's fingertips? Uh, I think this is, this is far too early to say as yet. In fact, despite your investigation, this remains a mystery? Uh, it does, and I think this will, will remain a mystery for some years to come. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Little.